Hi, uh, this is a recording for the usage of image classifier from Microsoft Cognitive Services. So I will start by creating a new project. And I will create a project called classification of houses. It will be classifying houses. And I have already created uh, a resource. So I will go to the resource. And here you can see the resource. It's in East US and it's um, it uses all the cognitive services. Yes, and then I will create a project. And I will add the images, select all. I have um, selected these images from Google. And I will upload them. And next, um, I will start tagging each of them. So I will start creating uh, this as a townhouse. Same close. This as a cottage. So it recommends us to have at least five. And this as a lake house. So I will take the untagged this one as a cottage. Well, now you can see the first iteration has run and we can see that it has a very high accuracy recall and uh, AP. Uh, so this may be due to it being a very small training data set that we have. Uh, so now we can test it. Uh, we can whip the endpoint. Yes, so it has been moved. So you can browse an image on Google. Let's say a cottage. You can go to images. You can select something that we didn't enter. We can copy the image. You can paste it. Okay, so we can copy the URL. Address. Paste it. Yes, okay, that image is too large. We can get something else. Uh, yep, yeah, this one. Copy image address.
Yes, so it is able to predict that this is a cottage with 79%. Uh, it says it's a cottage, 21% it says it's a lake house, so the prediction is correct. So we can create uh, multiple iterations as well. So if we go to training, performance, we can train again, we can maybe, yes, we can do an advanced training, which will take a couple of hours, uh, but I think it's best if we use a larger data set for that. So thank you.